Today, a hiker was found dead after three hikers went missing Monday morning near the Utah Arizona border. One of them was found alive yesterday morning. The third is still missing tonight. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree joins us live in studio tonight to tell us more about the search and rescue efforts. Jenna. That's right, Bob and Kelly. Look at this video we just got in from the Department of Public Safety showing the moments before a helicopter crew rescued one of the hikers from the Slot Canyon. The Kane County Sheriff's Office started the search for the three hikers yesterday who were reported overdue after entering Buckskin Gulch early that morning. Officials are still searching for the last hiker from the three person group. There. He was severely cold and, you know, um, they were able to airlift him or lift him out of the canyon, hoist him out of the canyon. Lieutenant Alan Aldridge says over the last 48 hours, 10 other people have been rescued out of this canyon. This is just kind of a freak couple of days. Um, why it hit all at once, I'm not sure uh, what, what's going on there. <laughs> Video sent to Fox 13 News from Meredith Perez shows just how deep the water in Buckskin Gulch is and how fast it's running. She told us her group was planning on hiking 30 miles but decided to turn around once they started getting stuck in quicksand. There's always little pools and stuff in there. Anytime you go through there, you're going to hit some water and, you know, maybe knee deep. But the problem now is it's way steep and running. Keep coming right there. Lieutenant Aldridge says the three men who went missing were experienced hikers with survivalist skills and had likely done this hike before. It's not like they just came out of the city and went and did this hike and were not prepared for it. I think they were probably prepared for it, but just the conditions were overwhelming for what, what anybody could be ready for. Now, the Bureau of Land Management requires permits to do slot canyon hikes like Buckskin Gulch. Lieutenant Aldridge says hikers who plan on hiking there this week need to be prepared for these conditions. Reporting in studio, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.